I'm going to show you how to browse the web using Fluid Info and our Chrome extension. I'm going to start by going to a Boing Boing article about Stop Sofa. You can see that immediately a little pop-up appears on the right-hand side to show me that people I follow on Fluid Info have mentioned this article already online. Brad Feld has mentioned it on Twitter and Fred Wilson has mentioned it on Tumblr. So if my friends have added information to the page, how do I do it? Well, click on the icon for the extension. I'm going to say that I like it. I'm going to put in a quick comment saying that I totally agree and click on Save. Now, the next time I come to this page or when one of my friends comes to the page, they will see the information um, that was already there and my information is also present now. Now, let's say that I move down through the page and I run into the comments and I see a mention of Netflix and then another mention of Netflix and I think, well, what is this Netflix thing? Uh, I can select the word and immediately a little pop-up appears and I can see that there's a link to Wikipedia, uh, that Fred Wilson has mentioned Netflix on Twitter. There's a stop symbol and a page on stop tweets for Netflix and that Tim O'Reilly has mentioned it on Twitter. So let's go and have a closer look at Netflix uh, in Fluid Info. We can go directly there from the context menu and we're now looking at the Fluid Info page for Netflix. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to follow Netflix because it's kind of interesting to me and in Fluid Info you can follow not just people but things and you can also follow domains. In fact there's an interesting domain here. Crunchbase.com has got some information about Netflix so let's just select that and there's another pop-up that tells me that a couple of my friends, Albert and Russell, are already following Crunchbase.com. Uh, so that seems like quite a good idea. I'm going to follow Crunchbase.com as well. And as a result, when I next run into Netflix on the web, or when I go back to this page and I select it, or one of my friends does, um, I see more information. I see Crunchbase. Um, company URL, I can see the overview of Netflix, I can see the link to the page on Crunchbase and the information that was already there. There's also the information that I follow, uh, Netflix. Now, let's suppose I wanted to take this Boing Boing article and save it somewhere. I'm going to select the URL and go back to that page for Netflix and I'm going to add it to the Netflix page. Um, let's just say this is a web link and I'm going to paste in the value and submit it and I'm also going to put a rating onto Netflix because I think it's uh, pretty cool and I'm going to give it a 4. Uh, the same thing happens you know, if, I, if I select Netflix again uh, you can see the information that I just added, there's my rating, there's the URL I've attached it to the Fluid Info page for Netflix so I can always find it again really easily. Now. How do you go and do stuff like this? Uh, it's very simple. Go to fluidinfo.com and in the top right hand corner here you'll be able to log in with Twitter. Do that. It'll ask you to set a password. Uh, please do. And having done that you can go to the Chrome store to get the Fluido Info extension or just go to bit.ly slash fi dash chrome. That will take you to uh, the install page for the extension. You install it then do a right click on the extension icon, go to options, type in your username, which will be your uh, Twitter screen name, and your password. Once you get the password right, you'll see a little green arrow, which tells you you're good to go, and you can go and start following people and things and domains and stuff like that on Fluid Info. Okay, have fun, and thanks.